I am unboxing a new mic. Watch that on my test of it in this video. This transport adventures unboxing of camera equipments and other equipments very useful for my elevator and trains photography. Today I have a Rode Stereo Videomic Pro, or as we Sweden would say, Rode, because of the Danish uh, that we have on the logotype. This, this type despite this being an Australian manufacturer this is a very professional microphone for high quality this model right here is a steer microphone that is very essential for my own elevator photography so you can pick up all kinds of sound inside the elevator cab and its surroundings so here you can see who looks like in on the inside and let's unbox it let's do all, everything in one set just going to open up the box somehow is the 3mm plug-in cable, microphone cable is the standard one that we plug in on a microphone input so I can use it on my computer if I need to, to. there's some extra gummy cables for the, this one that is very shakeable because so the sound doesn't sound when it vibrates during my cam moments. Just the microphone on full range. On back side you can see the power switch. And uh, that's the belt switch in which mode you will record. Where you can set up in the right sound environment. And on the side you can see both mounting for cameras as well as mounting on tripod if that will be ever essential so now it's time to and here's the operation manual oops it's on the floor Time to mount it on my camera. So, in order for me to to mount it on my own camera, I need to use a different camera so you can see who I will mount it. Just to make sure everything is on the right position. And it's in my own camera. So, with my camera, it included this one, which we mounted on the back side of my current camera and it is on it you will mount external devices such as this microphone yeah, we'll mount it this way and now it is in place I'm gonna mount it insert it here I know my camera is fully equipped with a microphone and then you will put the microphone here in the mic hole my camera says that external microphone might hide some place in wide 
overwink of zoom mode but that probably isn't essential because it is mode mounted above the camera and not in front of the camera so I can still operate it also it is a, <coughs> a bit on the way for my snapshot but the matter on the old car went dry sorry about that but here I have the microphone away so we are now going to open up the battery box which is in here in the back I just need to figure out how to open it there we go we the cameras are using this kind of 9 volts batteries so both one on the way this one is for charge able but we don't have any resource of this kind of matter yet so we'll probably buy it later on so uh, I need to figure out which pole would suit the microphone correctly which is plus or which is minus and then put it in accordingly if okay this to try and then turn it on you can see it works whilst turning it around will make it not working so this is the microphone it runs on its own power because it will run it on audio and then record it directly to the the car of the camera I don't know, only need to figure out how to put in this Again. there we go, it is in place and we're gonna plug it in behind so now, now you're probably hearing me through the microphone I mounted on my camera which is now mounted, ready and set and go for some tests now this microphone can be turned on and turned off of course you have a high pass or was it yes it was high pass filter to reduce low frequency noise such as wind from fans and uh, such also I have a decibel control for minus 20 and plus 20 and zero decibels I'll be adjusting the volume which could be very essential for the environment such as low the noisy elevators so I will go out for a while for a test run and see how this microphone works with both silent as well as very noisy elevators.
now I used all words kind of modes on my microphone of minus 10, 0, and 20 decibel as well as high pass filters. I recorded that fan six times. Now I will try something else. I also bought with my ordinary microphone this windshield called Dead Kitta, also from Road. Now this windshield is not far from real cats, so don't worry about that. He used the product name. So uh, here is the microphone. We're gonna arrange it. So here's the microphone, and here's the windshield, and we're gonna mount it right on top of the microphone. Something like this. Just find an opening and properly set it up onto the microphone. Now the well, microphone is now mounted with a windshield. Let's see how this will work when the testing against that fan again. Thank <laughs> you. 